So dear friends, welcome to day four of our Novena to the Holy Spirit. It is entitled, The Dignity of the Christian. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Come Holy Spirit, inflame the hearts of all people with the fire of your love. Send forth your spirit and all will be reborn. And you will renew the face of the earth. Holy Spirit, open our eyes and calm our minds. Fill our memories of the Father's love, of the Son's unceasing prayer, of the world and of your own presence within us. Holy Spirit, give us faith. Holy Spirit, reveal to us the truth of the Father's unfailing promise, purpose, and plan, of the Son's victory and risen presence, the truth about ourselves, sinful and yet children beloved of God. Holy Spirit, give us hope. Holy Spirit, give us peace, peace with God and peace with all people. Kindle my desire for you. Strengthen our wills to live and serve. Teach us and lead us where you will. Holy Spirit, give us love. Our scripture reading today is taken from both the first letter to the Corinthians and the letter to the Romans. Do you not realize that you are a temple of God with the Holy Spirit of God living in you? If anyone should destroy the temple of God, God will destroy that person because God's temple is holy and you are that temple. All who are guided by the Spirit of God are sons and daughters of God. For what you received was not the spirit of slavery to bring you back into fear, but you receive the spirit of adoption, enabling us to cry out, Abba, Father. The Spirit himself joins with our spirit to bear witness that we are children of God. And if we are children, then we are heirs, heirs of God and joint heirs with Christ, provided that we share his suffering so as to share his glory. Heavenly King, Consoler, Spirit of Truth, present in all places and filling all things, treasury of blessings and giver of life. Come and dwell in us, cleanse us of every stain, and save our souls, O gracious Lord. And the prayer of the sevenfold gifts of the Holy Spirit. Christ Jesus, before ascending into heaven, you promised to send the Holy Spirit to our to your apostles and disciples. Grant that the same Spirit may perfect in our lives the work of your grace and love. Grant us the spirit of wisdom, that we may aspire to the things that last forever. The spirit of understanding, to enlighten our minds with the light of your truth. The spirit of counsel, that we may choose the surest way of doing your will, seeking first your kingdom. The spirit of fortitude, that we may bear our cross with you and with courage overcome the obstacles that interfere with our salvation. The spirit of knowledge, that we may know you and know ourselves and grow in holiness. The spirit of piety, that we may find peace and fulfillment in the service of God while serving others. The spirit of fear of the Lord, that we may be filled with a loving reverence toward you. Teach us to be your faithful disciples and animate us in every way with your Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us pray. O divine Trinity, in this age of explosive scientific achievement, we hold ourselves in low esteem before the idols our science has created. We have used the gifts of that achievement to enable our mutual hatreds to make ours the bloodiest and most lustful century of human history. In our guilt, we have, leaned to, we have learned to despise each other and ourselves. Help us to heed the words of St. Paul and see in ourselves and each other the dignity that is ours as temples of your Holy Spirit to be loved by one another, as to be loved by one another as each of us is loved by Jesus. We ask this, through Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.